Hey there, it's Elizabeth, and welcome back to another Journal With Me, where I don't journal at all, video. <laughs> Let me turn off my overhead light. There we go. All right, now I have to try to navigate my cord and hope that I don't mess you about. This is annoying. But anyway, I'm glad to be here, and I'm glad you guys are here. So this is going to be kind of like a bonus video. Um, yeah, because... One moment, please. Sorry. I was working on my computer, and which is right next to me. Oh, gosh. And um, I was printing some stuff out that I'm going to show you in a second. And, like, as I'm doing this, there is some random ad going on. Ugh. Okay. That's what happens when you try to do too many things at once. All right. So this is my February journal. And now this week you're, you know, you're going to be seeing the making of it. Well, what you're going to be seeing is the making of the cover and the making of this um, cute little tassel. Okay. But I'm going to stick this one right in between here. And because I'm starting, you know, today is the first February and I'm starting on my book. And then I just went and took a break real quick and, um, from being in here for a bit. And I noticed on, whatchamacallit, on Instagram at Rookie Journal, I noticed she's doing a Season of Love craft challenge, okay? And it goes from February 1st to February 26th. And the hashtag is SOL Challenge 2023. And then, she had this, which is how to participate. And you can go, I'll put the link down below. I'll also put the link to her um, YouTube channel below as well. She does beautiful, beautiful junk journaling. And um, so you can go on YouTube or you can look right here and read it. I don't know. Can you see it? Let's bring it up. I've got a cord to deal with here. Okay. So you gotta follow her and follow another gal and then interpret the prompt however you want to create any craft. Feel free to share it as a post or reel. Don't forget to use the hashtag SOL challenge 2023. You can share as many entries as you want. Have fun and at the end of the challenge, we'll choose two lucky winners to receive a happy mail filled with goodies. So that sounds like fun. Sounds like fun. I don't usually enter giveaways and I mean, while I do think they are extremely fun, um, I'm not doing it to enter the giveaway, but you know, if they want to enter me in the giveaway, then that is fine by me. <laughs> what I like about it is the creative challenge. So, which is odd because I generally don't like creative challenges, but anyhow, I had already done or started in my book this morning and I put this right here, you know? You are the first person I think about every day when I wake up and the last person I think about before I fall asleep each night, okay? I love that. And I found this, it's interesting, I found this, um, you know, online somewhere and I printed it out and in our bedroom we have like a wall of photos, you know, of just my husband and I and um, not like a wall, it's like in a cupboard. Anyway, it doesn't matter shelves that hold picture frames and so we have one picture frame that is blank I don't even know if my husband's noticed it or not yet he's noticed the blank frame but I printed this out and put it in the frame <laughs> I don't know if he's noticed that part of it so anyhow as I was reading about um, rookie journal uh, on Instagram and I saw this I was like oh my gosh I just created you know my first page in my um, in my February book and I thought oh I can join the challenge now because you know yes this is all about the season of love right now this right here is an anatomical heart and I uh, printed these out from the graphics fairy okay so I will go ahead and put that link below huh. I think I'm just gonna fussy cut and I know it's like painful and like watching paint dry but gotta do it um, I'm gonna just fussy cut this out without all the labels on it I printed multiples of it because I like it and so yeah I'm gonna hope and hopefully this is gonna fit because this is the second time I'm printing it Ugh. 
to try to get it small enough to fit on this page. I had originally printed it bigger and I was like, oh no, that's not gonna fit. So I resized it and um, hoping that it, it will fit. <laughs> if not, then I don't know what to say. I'll probably end up, yeah, it's, I don't know. I wanted it to go right there. Um, ugh, it isn't, oh dear me. I might be able to put it there, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Originally when I did this page, I had shifted this thing up to the top and then I would have had more room, but I didn't. And let me show you what I did as well here. So in the backgrounds, I have these, the Dabo ink, I just covered the back of it. Then when I put this on, it was a little stark white, so I edged it in plum ink. And then I took a dauber like this with a yellow sponge on it. And I have this handy dandy pretty little stencil and I stenciled with yellow just to, you know, bring in the yellow from the background. And uh, yeah, so I don't know. I still don't really like the stark whiteness I guess of the page but it is what it is you know so that's just the way it's going to stay so anyhow this is like I said this is gonna be like a little bonus video in between my videos that I've been filming of late and I'm so excited to you know just start February and start this journal and I hope you enjoyed yesterday's video about making the cover, uh, yeah, it it was like an hour long, but you know what? You know what I always say, speed it up. Just speed it up. Like you could speed this part up right here, okay? Now, I did not do that all too well, but that's okay. All right, I won't torture you any, any longer. Yes. Okay, so maybe I'll just put this right here. I don't know. Oh, golly day. I don't want to take that away. Oh, well, maybe I could put it here. Yeah, I like that butterfly. But I think I like that better. So, yep, we're going to cover up the butterfly. Oh, well. Maybe we can find some butterfly stickers or something. To I'm sure I have butterfly stickers somewhere. We can, um, you know put some on there but I don't know that I'm gonna do that right now so there we go it covers up part of the tea but you know I can I can work around that so yeah you're the first person I think about every day oh and that's the big handsome you know because he holds my heart um, and this I just put in here for, uh, this was sent by a sweet subscriber, Brooke, and I, I just love it. And it's been sitting on my desk, so I wanted to put it in here. Now, in the back, the other thing that I thought about, and that's why I printed out this, right, is I'm going to make a pocket back here. Now, this right here is a pocket, right? But this is for bigger items. I don't know if I'll have bigger items or not. We'll see. But I wanted to do a pocket down here. Okay, so we're gonna do that together. Um, tomorrow, like I said, you'll be seeing um, the tassel making, okay? So look forward to that. All right, so this right here, I just eyeballed it, right? And I had a scrap of this paper, which is the same paper that I used for the cover. And so I made a pocket. Um, I looked at it this way, right? And then I added about an inch, okay, because and I also added about, I don't know, half an inch or so on the bottom, right? Because I wanna make little gussets. That way, instead of having a flat pocket, you know, to put things in, when you use the gussets, you have a little bit more room, okay? I hope that makes sense. So let's see if we can do this. Here's my first gusset right here. I think that's what they're called. I'm not really sure. So we're gonna fold this, right? right here okay and then we're gonna do hopefully the same to the other side now I do kind of want to line it up you know how I am especially if you watch the other video mm, 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 mm. all right so we're gonna fold this over and hope 
hope that I've eyeballed it okay, right? All right, I'm gonna fold this over. And this goes for any little pocket you wanna make. You know, a lot of times if I do, you know, tuck spots or, or pockets or whatever, I don't put gussets on them. I just, you know, make them plain. I don't have an example right here, but I think you know what I'm saying. All right, let's see if this will go. It will, okay, yep, all right. Now we're gonna open these little flaps up and we are going to, just like we did yesterday, we're going to angle cut this corner here and this corner here, okay? Oh, come on, my hands are cramping up, oh gosh. Ugh. All right, anyway, so now we're gonna do the same thing on here, we're gonna angle it angle that and then angle this these are so super easy to make and like I said it just gives you a little bit more room in your pocket okay see so here's how it's going to go just like that all right now what I want to do is I'm going to just lightly I'm not folding it in half I am folding it in half let me restate that I'm folding it in half but I'm just pinching it at the top, okay? Because this gives me my true center and I am going to, hopefully, maybe we'll just use this here. Oh, by the way, if you watch yesterday's video, I did finally get this little notch cut. <laughs> so I'm using an inch circle and I'm gonna cut a little notch in here. I'm gonna put that toward the center cut a little notch. Now, if I had been thinking, I would have actually made this top bigger, okay? Folded it over, glued it down so that this right here would be a little more sturdy, but I didn't think about doing that, so I didn't. Now, to put the pocket on, I am just using double-sided tape, which I don't normally use. I usually use uh, glue. But in this case, it's just easier and faster to do it this way. So that's what I'm gonna do. And because um, it's scrapbook paper and it's not like regular paper, it should work out fine. And also your papers are gonna go in between here, right? So it's they're not gonna end up sticking to the tape or, or anything like that. So super easy to do. And like I said, you can do this with any page in your journal if you wanna have a pocket. If you wanna have a pocket where you need a little bit more space, right? Because, and the reason I'm saying I might need a little more space is because um, somebody else is doing a challenge this month and I wanted to join in as well. And that challenge would be AJ's Inspired Life is uh, collaborating with Messy Missy Creates and um, they're doing they're doing a challenge too. And this is a challenge working around this cord. Anyway, we'll get through it. Um, and their their hashtag I probably won't list it just because I'm not doing their challenge right now, but um, I will list the, the hashtag to this, which is hashtag, hashtag SOL challenge 2023. Uh, okay, so let's get that out of the way. All right, anyway, um, Allison and Melissa are doing a challenge this month, so that's exciting. And once they get the challenge out. I don't know if they're going to put like the whole challenge like on a, you know, something I can print out or not. Now I'm going to try to hold my breath and line this up. So uno momento, please. Everybody be quiet. Oh gosh. Come on. <sighs> okay. Good enough. Good enough. Okay. Now Okay, so yeah, there. So look for theirs. You know, go. I will list their channels below so you can follow along with them as well. Um, 
so there's that. Okay, now see this pocket now has room in it, okay? Whereas if you just did it flat, it would still have room for like one paper or two papers, but this way it has room for more papers if you wanna stick something else in there. So now what I think I might do is try, it is, yeah, I really need to charge my phone before I, <laughs> before I do this. Ugh. Did I say even where I got, I'm gonna do it this way, where I got that anatomical heart from? I got it from the Graphics Fairy, so I'll list that below as well. Because that is, she has a lot of freebies and I love me a freebie. So there's this. And, whoops, okay. And then we have this one too, which I'm going to also cut out. Leaving a bit of a border. Hopefully I, I did these, you know, correctly, like the sizing or whatever. It doesn't matter if I didn't really, but I was gonna glue them back to back, so. We shall see, okay. Um, Alrighty, that goes over there. Okay, let's get these over here. And let's just see, oh, look at that. Almost, almost, yeah, pretty, pretty darn good. Okay, so let's glue these together. Where's my fat glue stick? Okay. So are you, do you guys have your February journal ready, set, ready and set to go? I can't believe I'm actually on top of things. I mean, I probably just jinxed myself. January was kind of, it wasn't a rough month at all. It was just, um, for journaling, it was it was a rough month. Yeah, I don't know what, I don't know what happened. Okay, so now we're going to take this and glue it on back to back. So see, I have like a nice little tag there. Isn't that cute? All right. Now we shall get my other pair of scissors out. I'm just gonna trim it up. Do I need to do this? No. No, I don't, but I'm gonna. Okay, holding my breath again. I really need to learn how to breathe. All right, I'm not gonna care about that or that at the bottom, okay? Not going to care, but what I am gonna do is I am going to go ahead and ink this. And because it has this little bit of teal on it, that's what I'm going to use to ink it up. I love to ink. Do you guys like to ink things? Do you ink everything? <laughs> I don't think I ink everything, but, but I do like to ink things up. Now, this tag is still very wet. That's why it's kind of wrinkling, but that's okay. It'll, it'll straighten itself out at some point. Yeah, so make sure you check out these these two channels. Um, I really enjoy watching Rookie Journal um, create her pages. She, yeah, she just has beautiful, beautiful, beautiful pages. So there's that. I don't know if I'm gonna put anything on the top or not, because just because this is in the back of my book, but there you have it, right? So there's the little pocket, it can go right in there. If I choose to do any other kind of challenges this year or this month, then I will, you know, do that. But there it goes, so now I can try to remember. it. And again, it's going from today, which, well, you're seeing this tomorrow, but from February 1st through February 26th. And she's doing a giveaway at the end if you're interested. Um, and so, yeah, so this is my page for the hashtag and I might go ahead and just like write this on like the hashtag maybe on a label or something and yeah, and put, put the hashtag there just cause yeah, this is my season of love, right? 
Oh gosh, was I even in frame? This is my season of love and I love this right here. Again, graphics fairy, this is just from online. And then as I go through, this is gonna be my February 1st page. So I've got to design that and the day isn't even over yet. So I can't journal about it. But anyway, just wanted to come on and share with you this sweet little craft challenge. I think that's a lot of fun. So, and the thing is, it's not like something that you do, you know, daily or anything, which I happen to like. Uh, it's something, it's just anything that you do, right? So it's, you know, like, let's say I, ooh, you know what? I could probably put that on this. Okay, hang on one second. Oh, you guys, I can extend a video. Good grief. Okay, isn't this funny? Because I just saw that it said crochet. I made these, I don't know, we were living at our old house, so... Uh, guess what? This little thing here is going on to my tassel probably. So there is that, right? Because any craft, okay, the craft challenge is for any craft, including pen pal letters. Rookie Journal does a lot of pen paling. Um, journal pages, which I do a lot of journal pages. Drawing, not so much. Painting, not so much. Crocheting, yes, okay? Anything that is craft related. Uh, and then just make sure you use the hashtag SOL challenge 2023. So fun, huh? Okay. So I hope you'll join in if you feel like it. And um, yeah, that's, that's my first one right there. And I just wanted to bring you guys along because I just now read about it and I'm going to go ahead and join it because why not? And yeah, so I hope that gave you some ideas. Um, I, you know, I hope it gave you a little tip for the pockets and how to make the little gussets on them so that things fit in here nicely and I can put other, I can tuck other things in there as well. So I hope y'all have a great rest of your day. Let me just leave that out there just in case the computer decides to use it as a thumbnail, right? Mm, we'll see. So thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you have a great rest of your day and a wonderful week and I'll talk to you real soon. Bye for now.